All right, so what's the plan, Stan? Oh, um, I'm looking at know. I'm looking at the uh, the the journal and stuff, the quest log. So we still have the giant step issue. It, it's basically yeah. uh, it looks like it's stuck. Find a side exit from the forge camp without being seen by the guards. Okay. So if we were to go up there, uh, hang on, I'm trying to trying to turn. There we go. If we were to go up in, in up here in the in the sides thing, my bobber. Yeah. So I think what happened is, it's triggered the the next step of the quest probably by accident. I think there's probably a bug there. I think if we go back to the um, the Verdant Valley, we probably have a good chance of, of being able to continue the quest there. All right. The quest is bugged. Well, I was thinking, let's try something. Uh, come up to the where I am. Come up to the, the where they were holding the giant. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I got oh, got my I got things backwards. There we go. I I just want to try something. Cause it's it'll lead us to the to the exit anyways. All right, now let's go cautious. Right now, the journal says, uh, for giant step step. Okay, uh, it says, escape from the prison with Ru with Rugen. I guess we have to have him with us. Uh, find a side exit from the forge camp without being seen by the guards, and that's what we did. So I'm thinking if we were to maybe if we sneak out. And then and then leave the valley that way. I don't give know. it a shot. I it, it we have to leave anyways. And I was thinking, why don't we just do it like this? And then maybe that'll. I I think you're right. By the way, I don't think there's much we can do about it. But this is an exit there out of the, huh? Yeah, we can always give it a shot. Oh, we can fast travel while uh, stealth. Yeah, we can. We're well, right here, anyways. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go up to the blue box and then let's go to the Verdant Valley, anyways, and see what happens. Why not, right? That works. And we have to go talk to... Well, we've got Seema. We can talk to Seema as well. Back at the uh, Care whatever. Care Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to answer there. Uh, Care Hifrid. I'm calling it Care Hydra. Why? Because... <laughs> We know why. It's uh, it's yep. Hydra. All right. Should we go to Hilt Care Hifrit first and talk to Sima? We could do that. Yeah, it's on the way. We That's... could turn in the head if we want to. Uh, yes, we could. We... Why don't we do that? It's the cash. Yeah. Let's go to the minor gate. Yeah, that works. Do, 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 do. Unfortunately, we have to talk to his royal uh, awfulness. And I don't like this guy. He he bothers me greatly. Yeah. Yeah, he's not a nice person. No. Oh, I I want to kill him. Do, 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 do. Okay. And there we go. All right, we're here. And let us um oh, where's uh where his where how do we get to him? We just have to talk to this person. What? No, nah, we we don't even have to talk to him. We talk to his handler. And solid, yeah. Uh right. A most wonderful find. Uh, that that that's that that's good. <laughs> All right. So we still have this is the head collector. So we've done the dryad's um head. What's that? What happened to? 
What happened to our um, our Dominion? I swear we had higher Dominion stat. Maybe not. Went to 10. This faction does not care about you. Okay, no, sorry. I was... Uh, I was looking at our faction. Our faction. Um, We've done standing, work for like. the Dominion, haven't we? We have. That's why I'm wondering what it, why it was so low. Maybe something that we did pissed off the Dominion. Maybe. We have an alliance with the Forge. That might. Uh, yeah, that's good. That might. Well, yeah, but it, and we have an alliance with the Mask. Basically, we're, uh, everything that the Dominion doesn't like. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, well, they like the Forge. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah. I guess the Forge gets things done, don't they? Shall we go down to the... Uh, where's Seema? There she is. We can go to the inn. Oh, we can't go to the inn. All right. Well, yeah, I guess if we, go, if, we have to... If we go to the middle gate, or we go back to this gate here... It'll take us back to the beginning of town, and then we can fast travel to be in, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. These guys have their own special entrance. Uh, where's the end? Okay, let's travel to the end. Uh, there we go. We're going to skip right past. I, I wonder, we're going to have to see if the town crier is there. <laughs> we're not stealthed, are we? No, don't pickpocket it, see you. Hey there. Hey there. Chama has been arrested. Yeah. He won't be a nuisance to the forge anymore. So you didn't kill him? Did you want help or did you want assassins? Fair enough. I think we deserve the whole truth now, don't we? Some of your actions still worry me. The rebellion requires <laughs> total commitment. If you take some really decisive action against the tyrant, I'll introduce you to my superior. What do you want now? Take the Pirtle outpost and raise the flag of the rebellion on its walls. Is that all? Why not storm the palace while we're at it? We'll do that together someday, if you really are what you claim to be. So... What do uh, I claim to be? <clears throat> so, uh... Yeah. Um... I don't... She doesn't know Jack. <laughs> right? Like, she's... She, all she has to do is keep dangling this information, and we keep doing things for them. So... Yeah, so we have we have no real winner here. The the mask, they are... Okay, just... Hang on, let me, let me pull up my... Uh, no, no. Um, factions. Okay. Yes, the mask. So the mask is just, they're, they're just not talking, right? They're just being like, oh, we're, we're, we're secretive. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. And then you got the Dominion who's just. Assholes. Evil, it just, yeah, jackassery. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got the Forge, which is neutral. And they seem like the, the nicest of them all. You get the people who are just being screwed either way. And you got the Rebellion who. The people think are probably just as bad as Dominion, only just different color banner. Yeah. I, I have to agree with you. I don't like any of them. I don't like any of them. I mean, the Forge... Maybe? Maybe the Forge? But they have a... They have a uh, their treatment of giants uh, irks me. Those giants are nice. Oh. Well, yeah. So, so the forge camp in the Verdant Valley made a deal with them, right? Yeah. And then the forge camp in the swamp put them, they made them prisoner. But they, I guess they just don't. They didn't talk enough to understand the difference there. Maybe. So we did lose that persuasion. All right. Well, <sighs> we have to figure out eventually which 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 one we're gonna get in bed with. Well, do we have to get in bed with one of them? I I, I don't think I, I don't think we can surpass I mean, let me put it this way. I, I think we can probably finish this DLC without 
making anybody happy. I like Maybe that. Fight. We just got to fight all the redeemers to get out, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so the only way to get out then would be to take down the Dominion. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I, I'm assuming you don't want to you don't want to back the Dominion at all, right? Well, no, they're, I, I they're probably the least likable people in the valley, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I like the people. I don't. The mask is kind of, uh, they're quiet, but I'm not really opposed to them. But the problem is, okay, if we take a look at the uh, quest log. All right. Uh, the head collector, not a big deal. We just go around, we collect some heads for the Dominion. Uh, we're all, and, and they're basically these are dangerous things anyways. And we're, we're just helping everybody in the valley if we do that. Right? So that's fine. All right, so Conquest, which is a mask one. They want us to raise a flag at the outpost. At, at, at uh, Felig, right? Okay, so that's, yep. that's the mask. All right, the Tortured. They want us to save a prisoner at, uh, a, which, which, at Felig Outpost. And this is the people. So both the people and the mask want us to go to Felig and, and then do some... Uh, basically, they want us to go there and wipe out the entire uh, place, right? That, yeah. that, that's, that's how this would be accomplished. Okay, so the rebels, they want us to go to another outpost, wipe it out, and capture it, basically, right? So we've got two different... So we've got the conquest and... Uh, the the people want us to go and wipe out one of the the, uh, the 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 outposts, and the rebels want us to do a different outpost. All right, so basically everybody just wants to start going and fighting their war for them. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Now a giant step. We could go and talk to. Uh, we could go to the Vernet Valley and see if we can talk to the giants and clean that one up. And underground ruins, that's basically finding the copper beetle, bee, uh, beetle key and the silver beetle key. I, I don't know if you've noticed something, but <clears throat> we're running out of quests. We are. Um, they will they'll come in, though, as we pick sides. Exactly. So that's what I mean. I think we need to go after... We have to pick... We have to fish or cut bait. And we need to pick one. I'm thinking... Uh, if I'm going to pick one, I'm going to pick the this uh, siding with the mask and the people. And so we should go in and just wipe out the Felag outpost. Piss the Dominion off. Unless... Yeah, we mm -hmm. Unless you want to go and uh, collect heads. Yeah, I'm, I'm unsure. Uh, All right. Do you want to try the... Dry, the do you want to try the... Um, the giant quest first just see if we can yeah. you know close that out exactly so that that's what i'm thinking let's go down to the entrance let's boogie on out of here okay. oh do we want to sell anything while we're here uh no we got the chest though the the, the party chest oh, let's go to the party can, chest yeah it's gonna get fast travel to the market if you want can you craft magical items out of stuff in the chest nope you have to have all the stuff on you Maybe I should. Okay, let's find out. Um, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sort, and then I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take everything out of the chest. Then I'm gonna look at crafting, which I'm already crafting something, so I can't see if I can craft anything else. Uh, but it Maybe looks try, like I try. can craft a longbow of accuracy. You try a different character, maybe? I don't think anybody else can craft. Uh, no, I was hoping it would just show what you had materials for. but that I, was I can see a little bit. I can craft the longbow of accuracy. Would, uh, would you like a longbow of accuracy? It, it's, um, I don't know. Let me see. Maybe. 
Yeah, I'm looking to see what we have. Uh, I would, you know, actually, I'd rather hold on to that primed longbow for something else. Okay. It's only a plus one. All right. I'm going to, what I'll do is I'm going to dump uh, all my re my crafting stuff that I have. Uh, I'm going to dump them in the, uh, oh, I was going to. Oh, I have to actually manually drag it in. Oh, this is painful. <laughs> actually, yeah, let's just do it. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. We've got letters. We've got, uh, ver yeah, we've got various documents that we've achieved. We've got requisition orders. We've got uh, antitoxin. Oh, I'm going to take the rations. Oh, there's the large dried meat package. Ah? Ah? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know we're doing that. I think that was a bug that should have taken it out for inventory. He did not. All right. I'm going to put away... Um, I'm going to keep one ration pouch just for travel. And I, I'm just going to put everything else away. Do, 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 Oh, man, this is, uh, <laughs> there's got to be a better way. Seriously. <laughs> I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to. Whoops. I don't think there is well, an you, easier way, is there? You gained an item called a Magnificent magnificent Circlet. I did? That needs to be... Yeah, I think it might have been to put it on your head. Oh, it's on my said. head. I'm going to have to check out what that is. Yeah, I just, uh, the reason I saw it is I checked the uh, the log and I saw Ferris Games Magnificent Circlet. Should I keep History of the Dragon War on me? Yeah, probably not. I don't think we need it. Okay. I'm going to keep my military campaign ribbon because I'm um, sentimental that way. Uh... What is what am I carrying that's taking up so much weight? Is it all the scrolls? Could be. Oh, there's a crafting manual studded armor of leadership. I should read that. Did I read it already? I think I thought I did. Here, I'm gonna check. Oh, wait a minute. We've got all these uh, the, the various notes as well. I think they actually do take up mass. Okay, um, let us read this. There we go. We can make the studded armor of leadership. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't. Yeah, we uh, remember we saved scum. Oh, yeah. So we didn't make that. <laughs> Oops. I'm going to identify the uh, the circlet. Okay. A circlet of blasting. What in the name of... What is that? Cast a scorching... Got, oh, oh. It does... It's got a single charge, though. So basically, you can use it once? Ever? I think you I think you could use it once, and it has a Every time you do use it, it has a chance of breaking. A showy trinket created by Lanathir Golden Fire to impress primitive folks during the first expansion. It's rare. It costs 800 coins... Uh, and it has a one charge that recharges at dawn, and it does Scorching Ray. I mean, uh, it doesn't need to be attuned. Do, would you like to wear a, a circlet of blasting? I probably would never use it. Might I mean, as well sell it and just get the cash. I think you're probably right. Uh, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right. What have I? Uh, I think I'm good. Um, I might. I don't need all these bolts. I'm going to put some of these bolts away. I'm going to put 20 in here. There we go. How's my weight? Better. Okay. And I don't need a candle, I don't think. I've got a torch. That's about as good as it gets. All right, what about you, uh, Justice? Abyss Moss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Scales. Uh, Swamp Opal. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? <laughs> Woohoo. 
Uh, and she's got some, uh, wow, she's got a lot of, uh, ration pouches. I bet you you're jealous. I know you like to carry them around. Oh, yeah, I, I, I love them. <laughs> All the huge amount of weight and everything. Oh, and a primed spear. Yeah, that one's going to go. Oh, she's also got a Warhammer and a, a Warhammer plus one. She's going to sell that Warhammer. I think that's pretty well it. Okay. Um, I'm going to sell to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Henrik or to uh, Gale? Henrik. Yeah, Henrik. That's right. Sorry. No, no. I, I forgot who we were selling to. <laughs> I, I was just like, uh, I wasn't sure. So, uh, all right. Now, what was I going to sell? Oh, yeah, the circlet. 190 coins. I like it. And then also the hammer. And is there anything else? A backpack? No. Yeah, that's fine. Conclude. All right. I think I've 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 done my stuff. Have you done your stuff? I'm trying to think of what I need to do. Um, I'll tell you what. I could probably drop off some stuff in this chest. I've got a bunch of primed junk in my inventory. Did you notice something? Uh, it's quiet. It's peaceful. The blissful silence. Except for the the happy humdrum of the background background sounds of a lovely bustling village or town or care. What's missing from this picture? <laughs> the Ta jerk yelling on a box. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and and who did that? Who took care of that that riffraff? That was me. That was you. That was that's that was, that's right. Eve. Well, it was Ferris. He walked, he sidled up to that guy, patted him on the shoulder, and then made him sick and die. <laughs> hey, bud. Uh, would you like me to take care of some of your needs? Actually, I wonder if uh, Rose Fairwind. She's got a blue bubble, but no other bubble. Do you, do you have a lot of stuff? Cause I no, had, I, just, I just finished. I had a lot of stuff. Yeah, it was one of those things <laughs> where I I, could, it w I wouldn't let me double click it for some reason, so I had to click and drag each one, each That's, individual thing. That is exactly what I yeah. had to do. All right, Rose Rose said hello, but nothing more. Shall we, um, shall we uh, blow this popsicle stand and head on to the Verdant Valley? I think so. We should move it. All right, let's... Head on out. My, had my fingers miskeyed. I've done that. So you start yeah. writing gibberish. It's great. Yes, if leave the area. The wrong keys. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, one of the things I wanted to look at was to see if there was any exclamation marks anywhere other than Felig Outpost. And then the other one, which is the Pertle Outpost. And it looks like the answer to that question is no. And really, uh, yeah, we just got to go to the Verdant Valley. And let's do it. What do you What do you think of my... Oh, a roaming giant. What? But he... Is this not a friendly giant? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Let's do... Oh, he might be mean. We could kill him. Oh yeah, there's it's instantly gone into a battle. There's two of them. Yeah. They don't look like they're 
They're smart giants. They look. They've got clubs and they wear clothes, and they look mean. Yeah, I was just to kill them. I like this idea. Can I shoot from here. I see far away. Okay, I gotta move. I'll move right here. We should taunt them in giant language. <laughs> Tell yeah, them, they'd love that. Uh, tell them about how they're your, about their uh, mothers. Malmus. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, I, you did. Got some hit points. Twelve hit point, thirteen hit points. Ooh, they've got at least a hundred and twenty. Thirteen plus nine. That's twenty-two. Eh, more. Yeah, about hundred and twenty at least. Okay. This might um, be a harder fight. Do we want to whittle down one and then uh, focus on the other? Yeah, I'm good either way if that's what you want to do. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to come up uh, next to you. And I'm going to hope that I can actually see him. And I think what I'm going to do... Oh, we haven't had a chance to... to... Oh. My spells are, are not exactly uh, doing great. We could I could try a Ray of Enfeeblement. And that way he'll deal less damage for one minute. Maybe we should. We could try that. I, I wonder how feeble they are. I, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, it says careful spell. Uh, why would I need to worry about careful? Oh, he's too. He's out of range. Ah, I, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has to be 12. Okay. Um. I could crossbow him. <gasps> oh, you know what I should do? I should switch over to uh, Long Night Poison Bolts. Eh? Maybe, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just like bolt him. Oh. Now he's poisoned. So maybe that'll like whittle him down. Huh? You like that idea? I think it's a great idea. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna back off over here. <laughs> yeah, because reasons. All right. <laughs> Justice uh, is gonna come up here. Actually, she she's gonna go on over here. She's got her javelin, so she's actually gonna use guiding. Oh. She doesn't have a lot of spells left. Light is with us. That's not bad. 16. And look at that. He's lit up like a Christmas tree. And he's poisoned. Uh, now, as soon as I end my turn, you know that the giants are going to make their move. Are you interested? Oh, surprise! <laughs> All right. So let's see what we can do here. I have her run up here. She can maybe be in between. That's what I was kind of trying to do with justice there. Yeah. Let's see. Um. Hmm. I will just do a cantrip for now, so that. Oh, we can't do a cantrip. All right. Maybe from here? Nope, out of range. Yeah, we'll just ready a cantrip then. Sounds good. All right, Zandre. What do you what do you got up your uh your hunter sleeve? No quarter given. <laughs> and he's still poisoned, do you see that? Yeah. Nice. Well, that was some damage. And oh, and a bit of little bit of poison damage. Oh, he's coming! Oh, he didn't like that. Uh oh. Oh. All right, Ferris. What are you gonna do? Uh, you're gonna move up and use these two as a meat shield. 
because Ferris is very opportunistic. And you are going yep. to enfeebleize. Oh man, he doesn't really have a lot he can do with. I've got one more choice of these. I could shatter. I only have one spell slot left in the. Oh, I could buy slots, can't I? You can. All right. Well, I'm going to do it then. Uh, I'm going to enfeeble him because I want to. I want to see how this works. Apparently, it is. Oh, it's careful. Why would I worry about that? Is there something that I don't know about? Celasta, Necro, so. Malmus. <laughs> did, did, you, did you hear what it did? It goes, oh, and then, <laughs> shh, and then it goes, poop. <laughs> now he is, he is weakened, so he has half damage on strength-based attacks. I can't help but think that a hill giant wielding a club is a strength-based attack, <laughs> right? I think so. <laughs> I, mean, right. I mean, he's got to lift it. Okay, uh, Justice is going in. Oh. Try again. What? Seriously? Yeah. How did you dodge that? Uh, no, critical miss. Oh. Okay, well, I'm here. <laughs> oh, the other one's coming in. I was hoping we could wipe this guy out and then we could focus on just one. Yeah, that'd be nice. I think we can do it, actually. Um, what if I walk over here? Oh! <laughs> they have a, oh, oh, he, they have, he they just, have a range of two. Uh, he, he just about launched you into the atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> Again, harder! <laughs> Oh, that wasn't too bad. Get another attack in this round if we can. Excellent. Oh, how does the, such a miss. big giant um, creature dodge? <laughs> Who knows? Good. Oh, that was impressive. I'm just glad it didn't fall on us. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Ouch. Little humans. All right, Ferris is... Um, he's feeling a little exposed. He's going to get in behind Justice here. Like that. Maybe. Like this. Because, you know, Ferris. And he is going to cast. He's all out of his level two spells. And he's saving his uh, his lightning bolt. Uh, inflict wounds. Oh. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have moved over there. You know what? I'm going to move over here. And I'm going to... I'm going to lightning him. And I'm going to empower it. Hey, buddy! Evo Malmus. <laughs> Eat that! Do you think he's mad at me now? He's going to come over here and uh, give me a, a, a whack. I'm going to get in front of... I'm going to get between him and... I'm moving up. <laughs> Actually, I should probably go up and engage him. Hey. Maybe I should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going up and I'm engaging him. Smite. I only had one smite left. And that was it. Yeah. 
Run while you can. That's right. Run. Run while you can. <laughs> uh, end turn. Actually, uh, no, I'm going to end my turn. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. 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 That was a good crack right oh, there. Oh, that. Oh, that hurt. Oh, 18. Oh, that was bad. Oh. That's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> a little, a little hammer. Ting. <laughs> Pick that toe. <laughs> little misty hammer. What are you? evil, Malmis. Another victory. Yes. Good job. <laughs> and that leveled us up. Did it? Oh, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Because nice. we're starting to get some, uh, what I would call pretty aggressive uh, enemies. Like, these enemies. Hey, we got, he got, had a, he's got a scroll of dark vision. And guess what he's got? The club. No. Oh, ration. Yes, he it's does. Definitely a giant ration. Yeah. Well, he's a, maybe he's a delicate eater. Right? Maybe he, he likes finer things. Uh, scroll of Shield of Faith. Uh, scroll of Entangle. That might be useful. Um, 90, 19 gold pieces and a couple of arrows. Plus a ration punch. Oh, yeah. You know it. You know it. All right. So uh, shall we continue? Yeah, let's, let's move on. No problemo. And we should level up here shortly. Jungle Escort. All right. Level up. <laughs> he has, uh, Ferris has uh, 44 hit points now. So he gets um, a third spell uh like a third level three spell slot unlocked class features vengeful spirits you can use a bonus action to call forth the spirits inside you for up to one minute you can target a three by three cell area that you can see within 18 cells an opponent that enters the area for the first time on a turn or start its turn there must make a charisma saving throw or take 2d6 of da of your oh Plus your charisma modifier in necrotic damage. Half damage on a successful save. So damage anyways. Uh, each turn you can use your bonus action to move the area by six cells. Once you use Vengeful Spirits, you can't use it again until you finish a long rest. So it's a one shot. Uh, unless you spend four sorcery points to use it again. So yeah, you got to recharge it with four sorcery points. So you can recharge it, but it's expensive. Okay, all right, that's cool. I I can get I can dig it. What do I have at level three? Uh, I can add. Oh, what did it do? You can unlearn. So you have the option to unlearn a spell. Right. Okay. You can skip it on the right side if you don't want to. Okay. Yeah. And but okay, I do use burning hands. I have had good luck with thunder wave, shatter, and scorching ray has been good. I'm not so sure about dark vision. Dark vision. Yeah, it could be considered a waste. I, I'm not sure how you how you feel about it. I might. Wait till I've got we've got a couple more levels and stuff. I'm gonna have more opportunities, but I don't know. I'm not sure about it. Uh he can cast fly. Fireball. Sleet storm. Incapacity incapacitating noxious gas. Wow, this guy's got... These guys are... They're no joke. All right. Um, 
I think I'm good. I'm going to keep it for now because we haven't, re I haven't really had a chance to try it. So, all right, let's see. What did it pick for me? Uh, oh, it didn't. Okay. Class spell. Uh, let's see. Hypnotic pattern, slow, sleep storm, protection from energy. What do you think? Fireball? Fireball is always a pretty pretty good one. I agree. I'm hard I'm, to hard I'm to going, go bad with. I'm that. doing fireball. All right. Nice. Justice has 58 hit points now. Uh she unlocked aura of protection grants a saving throw bonus to your surrounding allies equal to your charisma modifier for 1 minute. More minimum of 1. Um Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. Oh, I didn't get anything else though. No, no new spells. No, I didn't get any new spells. No, it doesn't seem like it. She's more of a fighter than a than a a, a cleric, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm good with it. How about you? I'm looking at my spells here to see if there's something I want to pull in. Oh, what looks interesting? Uh, nothing really. Uh, not, not, my spells didn't change. I just got an extra slot in the upper, in, in the higher, or in slot three, or in, in level right. three. Right, right, right. And then because of that, I it memorized Bane for me, which I didn't like. So no. I'm trying to figure out what to replace it with. <laughs> can you imagine... How can we get people to get a bunch of spells that they don't like and that they'll never use? How about if we, uh, when they, yeah, when they level up and they get a new spell slot, we give them one, but we give it, give them like the worst one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's not a good idea, guys. That would be very nice. Yeah, these. Unfortunately, the spells that I have access to right now aren't fantastic. And who's that? Which one? Uh, this is the uh, for for my cleric. Okay, cool. Sorry you, about that. I'm you, done. You have guardians. I do. You don't need anything else. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We were supposed to be traveling. Resume. Let's go. Talk to the giants. Yeah, straight, yeah, to, the straight giants. to the giants. Yep. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Flying spells or artifacts can leave, leave let you almost oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's the pitter patter of giant feet. Yeah, what worries me is I don't see any exclamation points. Oh wait, oh Rugen's over here to our left. Look at your map. Oh. Sorry, we learned that your friends were attacked. But look who's here! Hogan! Gartok! <laughs> Makers got Hogar back to prison! No! Bad news. What was that? Gartok and friends, born in Maker prison, escaped before medication. What? Medication, bad. Makes sense. You find Makers, find Hogar. What's this Maker story? Maybe they've been made intelligent by someone. With medication? A potion of permanent intelligence increase? Ah! 
secret facility, the ugly truth. Oh, this sounds actually really cool, uh, to be honest. Like, all right. Um, okay, let's take a look at the journal. Okay. So we still have the uh, the giant step. Escape with the prison with Rugen. Be careful, right? I don't think we're ever going to get rid of that. <laughs> we, we might not be able to at this point. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, but we did get the ugly truth, which is reach the complex. Gartok asked you to look for the missing giants in the complex. All right. Well, we basically have a choice. We can go and assault Felig. Oh, wait a minute. Jungle escort. Uh, speak with Had Hasdrubal. He seems to have a task for your party. Yeah, we can, we can do that later. Yeah. Why don't we take? I, why don't we take a look at Felig and see what it's like? Uh, you want to go to Felig? Yeah, let's take a look and see what we can do there. Feeling feisty. Well, I mean, we've we've got two quests that converge there, so it might not be bad to take a look at it. Okay, I think we did stop in and see it, but we can do that anyways. Claim the outpost for the mask. All right, I'm tracking that bad boy, and I think we should uh, let's let's get to what is it? Where's the exit? I can't remember where the exit is here. Exit to the valley. <clears throat> 